Hello YouTube, I feel pretty good about creating another video today, so here it is. In this video I'm going to talk about color schemes. Now many of us like Vim to come in a nice colorful fashion, so we can easily um, sort out the things that we need uh, using this visual cue. Okay, now let me turn the syntax highlighting on just to show you what I mean. So syntax off. Now you can see how dull and, and hard to read it becomes. And now if I turn it back on, syntax on, bam, immediately becomes so much better, so much clearer. Now the plugin I want to show you today is pretty cool. It's actually, um, oh, sorry. It's actually a bundle of different color schemes. In fact, there are almost 500 in it, uh, 486 to be exact. So these are all of the schemes that come with it. There's really plenty. And I already have it installed, so I just want to show it to you right now. Now the way how you choose a color scheme in Vim is using the color scheme command. So color scheme, um, whatever, Molokai, there, there it is. Uh, or color scheme, um, actually I have so many. Let me show you, there. These are all the schemes that come with the plugin. It's pretty amazing. Okay, oops. Okay, anyway, I just want to show you the, the one that I'm using. It's called Candyman. It's really nice. The reason why I like it is because it's very minimalist. As you can see, here is Go, and it really only highlights the things that I need highlighted, and it stands out of the way elsewhere. Now, here's HTML and JavaScript. It's just beautiful like really, really nice eye candy. Okay, now I want to show you something really cool as well. You probably don't want to open your Vim and type color scheme and then scheme name a hundred of times just to check all of them. That, that's just too slow. So here's an awesome website called bitefluent.com slash vivify. And what it allows you to do is browse different color schemes, uh, maybe the popular ones like jelly beans, or some other scheme that you can just pick from this menu. And there's really plenty on here. But when it gets really cool is that you can actually preview it for each language. So for instance, if you're a Python developer, you click on Python and then you can see a snippet and how it looks like in this language or how it looks like in SQL, etc., etc. But it doesn't end here. This website actually features one more thing, which is you can actually modify these schemes. So for instance, if I want to darken it, I can just click here or lighten it back up, or I can change the hue. I have no idea what it is or the saturation. Again, I don't know what it is, but it looks kind of cool. And when you're done playing around, you can just download it. So this is the introduction to color schemes. I hope you can make your Vim pretty and thanks for watching.